Aflatoxins are one of the many silent threats to the African continent's food security. This is now exacerbated by climate change, which is predicted to increase aflatoxin levels in food sources, causing serious economic and health problems. About 26,000 Africans living south of the Sahara die of liver cancer every year through chronic aflatoxin exposure. Contamination by aflatoxin of human food and animals occurs due to deficiencies in storage and post-harvest handling processes. The race is on by scientists across Africa to eliminate the aflatoxin problem. Professor Shilokov is among the top African women scientists responding to the menace. My research area is on fungi, so this is where I cherish most working on mycotoxins, so studying fungi as they produce mycotoxins, quantifying the toxins and looking at ways of managing the toxins. I heard of the award fellowship in 2007 when the award team came to this campus and uh, we were invited to the hall and they made a presentation and then I thought why not let me try because it came in with packages of leadership training and also an advanced science training out of your country and that is what I was looking for. So I got my placement at uh, Stellenbosch University. So when I landed at Stellenbosch uh, University, again I had to pick up my leadership skills that I learned from award. So I spent the time visiting all those sections of the lab, taking photographs, writing notes, I asked them for their protocols, I photocopied the protocols. So the two weeks, it's not that I was doing nothing. Of course, to them, nobody was talking to me, but I spent it to map around. I even took a piece of paper and drew some funny architectural drawing of the lab because I wanted to come back and make sure that I had something like that. I learned the skills of mycotoxin testings. Uh, fungal identifications using uh, morphological methods and molecular uh, techniques. So when I was leaving Stellenbosch, my supervisor told me that there's little money left from the award fellowship. What can we do with it? And so she got in touch with award and award gave him a go ahead to use the money on me. So he bought for me my first equipment for testing uh, aflatoxin. So I came back home with all those protocols and the skills and I was determined to start a laboratory also at the University of Nairobi that can do what Stellenbosch is doing. I published some papers with my supervisor. I was able to get promotion to associate professor and I was able also to start this laboratory. So all this lab has actually come up because of award. So uh, our, our research is not only, does not end in this lab only. And uh, the research also is on several facets. So one facet is looking at the extent of exposure. How much are our population exposed? So at that level we bring in samples, we collect samples from out um, we bring in and then we test and as you can see we also test with fish not only grains uh, because the government was, has been pushing on having fish farming now when you have fish farming then of course the farmers start producing the feed and that is where now the problem comes in in the feed because since aflatoxin is so potent when the fish eats them we want to know how much is retained in the flesh. How does it affect the reproduction of the fish? And so far, uh, from the publications we have made with one of my students, we have realized that aflatoxins reduces the production of eggs in female. From the lab here also with my students, we also do field trials in collaboration with Calro and most of my field trials are in uh, Katumani and Makweni where we are doing 
breeding experiments because we can manage aflatoxin in many ways but the most easiest way is if we could only get uh, lines that are resistant to contamination or to production of aflatoxin then it will be an easier way for the farmers but we have also done other experiments on uh, storage because we know that most of contamination also happens during storage so we advise farmers on how to harvest and dry and store their grains to prevent uh, toxin accumulation. So I have uh, several students who come from other universities. Uh, one of them last year came from Belgium. Uh, he was here for three months. And I've had also two from Nigeria. I've also had uh, some other technicians from other universities. The International Society of Mycotoxicology also started the African Society of Mycotoxicology. And my supervisor, AST supervisor, has been the president and I was elected the vice president. So last month, again, we had the second meeting, the second meeting of the society, and I was appointed the president of the African Society of Mycotoxicology. So together with the partnership of aflatoxin control in Africa, we try together to manage aflatoxin con uh, contamination in Africa. Today, Professor Court's lab is a government-recognized establishment for aflatoxin testing. While awards set to widen the pipeline for women scientists in leadership, this investment on individuals has indeed translated into institutional and countrywide impact.